This morning, Boris Johnson travelling to see the Queen for one last official meeting. The monarch is ushering in her 15th Prime Minister for the first time away from Buckingham Palace. Her mobility issues, meaning royal history, is being made. Johnson and the new Prime Minister, Elizabeth Truss, travelling 500 miles to see her at Balmoral Castle, Scotland. In the Queen's 70-year reign, she's advised everyone from Winston Churchill to Tony Blair to Johnson, who signed off this morning. Well, this is, this is it, folks. I will be supporting Liz Truss and the new government every step of the way. But Liz Truss is Britain's third female leader. She's already being compared to Margaret Thatcher, facing inflation, labour strikes and a recession. She's also hoping to reaffirm Britain's long-standing special relationship with America. I spoke to the man, likely to be appointed Britain's new foreign secretary today. Is there work to be done to improve relations with the Biden administration? Well, it's always in our mutual interest for the UK and the US to uh, have a strong working relationship. The Queen overseeing this political upheaval amid renewed royal tensions. Harry and Meghan returning to England for a joint working visit. Meghan and Harry! Their first since stepping down as working royals, appearing at the One Young World Summit. Meghan telling her audience motherhood has changed her. My worldview had expanded exponentially, seeing the global community through the eyes of my child. And I would ask, what is this world he would come to adopt? And what can we do, what can I do to make it better? but no sign of improved relations between William and Kate, Meghan and Harry. The couple staying just minutes from each other, but no word on whether the two families saw each other. Just a week ago, Meghan's controversial interview with The Cut reopened wounds over their royal departure. The couple also attending an event for Harry's Invictus Games charity. At this year's Games, he spoke to Hoda about the deep fractures in his family. Do you miss... Your brother, your dad. Look, I mean, I'm, for me, at the moment, I'm here yeah. focused on these guys yeah. and these families and giving everything I can. And then when I leave here, I get back and my focus is my family, who I miss massively. You do. <laughs> so, Keir, the new prime minister is meeting with the queen behind closed doors, not the first rodeo for the queen, as you mentioned. But what would happen in a meeting like yeah. that? Well, Savannah, we think it's uh, happening right now, and it's called the kissing of the hands. Now, you'll be relieved to know that the new Prime Minister doesn't lean in for a big kiss uh, with the Queen. They, in fact, just shake hands. But it comes from a tradition in the past where a new Prime Minister would... The Queen would hold out her hand and a new Prime Minister would kind of gently brush his or her lips on the Queen or, or King's hand. I don't know about you, Savannah, I think it's a, a great way for you to, guys to greet each other in the morning. Yeah. Can you, I just thought, like, that's so awkward. You'd be, like, practicing, you know? I'm out. Like, you'd be like, okay, how Russian. was it? Too much, Russian. like, too, like, smushy, like, right. brush, stick, brush that was too weak. Lip you we'll think let it that can We'll let that tradition stay in London. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. Thank you, Kier. Thank you, Kier. Keep that's that hilarious. one over the pond. Can you imagine? Uh, no, no, I cannot. <laughs> Hey, thanks for watching our YouTube channel. Find your favorite recipes, celebrity interviews, uplifting stories, shop our favorite deals, and so much more with the Today app. Download it now.